Hi folks, welcome to the Creating a Custom Yeoman Generator course from Tuts Plus. My name is Dan Wellman and I'll be your instructor for this series. In this course, we're going to see how to write a custom generator for the front end workflow tool, Yeoman. The course is aimed at those that may have used Yeoman, but haven't quite found the perfect generator yet. In some cases, the perfect generator for you simply does not exist. There may not be one that matches your ideal or usual setup completely, but don't worry, that's why we're here. So that if you can't find the perfect generator for you, you can build it yourself. Don't worry if you haven't used Yeoman before, we'll be covering it in detail over the first few lessons. As a brief introduction, let's just look at exactly what it is and why it's so useful. Yeoman isn't actually a single tool. It's a workflow, a system, a mindset, it's composed of three individual tools which, although can be used completely independently of each other, happen to work very well together. These three separate tools are Yo, Bauer and Grunt. I'll just introduce you to them briefly here and we'll come back to them very shortly. Yo is a scaffolding tool that we can run in order to start a new project. We run a special module called a generator that will give us a folder structure for our project, tools to develop it with, test frameworks and external dependencies included. All created for us, ready to be used and built out into the app or website that we are going to create. And there are a huge range of generators already available. Bower is a package manager for the front end. We can run it from the console and specify client side tools and frameworks that our application or site depends on. It's the front end equivalent of Node's package manager NPM and can be used to install, save and update without even opening a browser. Grunt is a task runner for JavaScript projects that we can use to perform automated tasks like running our unit tests, linting our scripts, building our SAS files, or creating a deployable build. If you've heard of or used any of these three tools, I think Grunt will probably be the one that you've used already, or at least heard of. All three of these tools run on Node.js, which I expect you've already got installed and are familiar and comfortable with. If you aren't, don't worry. What I'd recommend is that you go and watch one of the excellent introductory Node courses here on Tuts Plus first, and then come back to this course after that. So now that we're all on the same page, let's move on to the next lesson and get things set up ready for us to start. Thanks for watching.